Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, what? Okay, so in this video, uh, I want to talk about the the previous the topic that uh, I think I already <laughs> talked about called the true north bound. And uh, the problem is that uh, uh, the problem is that I I have like some videos about true north bounds. But the problem is that when I want to use it, I forget about it. Okay, <laughs> and uh, sometimes that the general form is not so uh so. The general form, right? So if you want to see the general proof, the general idea, that uh, I will, uh, you can check out my previous video, or I will post the the inequality list below that you can check. But in this video, I want to talk about the simplest general of bounds that uh, probably like most commonly used. Okay. Okay, and uh, the general idea is basically the the idea basically is similar as Markov inequality. Okay, so we know that uh, the simple Markov inequality is that when x is a random variable greater than zero, and uh, you know, suppose you know the uh, expectation value is mu, and you, and you can ask what's the probability that, uh, uh, let's see, okay, probability values. So you want to ask, let's say, yeah, so, and you can ask, yeah, the expectation is mu, okay. and then you want to ask uh, what's the probability that x greater than a, uh, this one is equal to expectation, uh, expectation of a divided by a. And the proof of this one is very simple, right? You can just write down the characteristic function, the simple proof. Okay. Uh, so what I want to talk about the simplest uh, Schroeder bounds is the settings list. So you define x to be summation of xi, i, and each xi is Bernoulli, right? So very simple. So xi is a, a one with prop. Okay, so with prop, probability pi, Else, it also means that pretty probably one minus pi is zero. So uh, the expectation of x will be just the sum over pi, right? So just that's me. Okay. So what you what you want to claim is that due to the large number, right? You you large number theorem, then you suspect what? Uh, you suspect that uh, you suspect that uh, the probability. Uh, you suspect the probability that uh, x greater or equal to one plus delta mu, right? So, uh, let's say right each x i is that independent. Let's say you have independent one, and uh, by the way, so all these x i are independent, independent. Okay, so you take some independent. You take this in kind of independent. Uh, you take this independent. Uh, very large independent guy, and then you sum over that, right? And then let's say the expectation value is mu. Right? So you suspect this, you suspect what? You suspect this expectation value greater or equal to one plus delta mu should be bounded, right? So this is the so-called upper tail. Should be bounded less or equal to something. And you suspect that when s is less or equal to one minus delta mu, it's also bounded. Okay. And then this is bounded by exponential minus delta square uh, one. One plus the uh, two plus delta mu, and then this guy is this, and then this is like this guy for all delta greater than zero, and then obviously this is this need to be positive, right? So okay, so uh, this is the probably the simplest the Schroeder bounds, and uh, there is a cor uh, corollary. So this corollary is also uh, commonly used. Is that probability? Sometimes you want to. Uh, ask what's the the difference between the absolute absolute value between your x and the mu. So delta mu is bounded by exponential minus mu delta squared divided by three times two, and the uh, the proof is simple. You just you just add these two and uh, you choose this uh, bound. Okay, so this proof is simple. We just need to use the previous two. Okay, so this is bound. This is also delta like zero to one. Okay. Okay, so now let's, uh, so the rest of the video is previous. And uh, basically this uh, lower tail, this is lower tail, this lower tail is, uh, can be easily derived from the same idea. Okay, so we will, uh, okay, I will try to like prove, prove it. Okay, hopefully. Okay, so why? So what's the journal? Uh, the journal of bounds. What's the power of journal of bounds? Right. So idea is that uh, if your x is summation of x i, 
they say i from one to n then the you know that the the this is moment generating function of x of s is basically the product of uh, of n x i s right if they are independent and the, the reason is by definition right because your uh general mx your moment generating function by definition is the exponential value of exponential of your random variable and things there are uh things you know that this is some of it so you just take this and then you take this right and the things there are independent right so there you can like change the product and the exploitation value so you get the Okay, so since you have this, then the, the idea is very simple. You just use, if I want to bound probability of x squared triple a, then the, I can change the probability of expectation value of sx greater or equal to exponential sa. Right, so s is some variable that I will optimization. I will do optimization. It's less or equal to use the Markov inequality as I talk. talk. So I uh, just change the expectation of sx divided by uh, sa. Okay, and uh, this guy just the uh, m of x s. Okay, so the okay, so this is it. So if you can compute this exactly, then you can put it here and then try to do the differentiation on s and find the upper uh, find the lower bounds, and then you will get the bounds are the probability of x squared equal to a. Okay, so once we have this idea, then we are able to prove this. Uh, Probably it's a simple Bernoulli case. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see, right? So let me just uh, consider a simple case. Consider y to be the Bernoulli. So it's one with probability p, with probability p, and uh, one minus p, let's say zero. Okay, so I want to compute this, right? So it's, it's uh, expectation value of exponential y. So what is this? It says, okay, so very simple. Uh, p times exponential uh, p. S, right? Oh, sorry. So Y is 1, right? So it's S. Plus 1 minus P. That's it. It's point of 0. So it's P, E, S plus 1 minus P. Okay, so... Okay. And uh, but this is hard to like manipulate. So let's write. We can write 1 plus P is point of S minus 1. So this is less or equal to is potential of exponential s minus one. Okay, the use the, the useful tool is exponential x is greater equal to one plus x. Okay. Okay, hopefully uh you know this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's still if even you don't you don't have this one still true. Yeah, you don't have this one still true. Uh, because if S is, yeah, okay. And, uh, okay, so now, okay, so now we can get M of X, S, right? Let's say X, let's say X is just the, the previous one, right? So we can use just the product of it. So I guess summation, uh, is but exponential of exponential s minus one and the summation pi okay right i just times the pr just product uh i from one to n okay so i have this okay okay so now we have like we can do the churn of bounds right so we get the probability of x which will equal to one plus delta mu is that so equal to uh this right is minus one summation pi let's say summation pi is mu as I say, summation pi is mu, right? Divided by exponential exponential of s a, right? So s, s a, right? So a is, this is a, okay? So one plus delta mu. Okay, so uh, cutting let's say one plus delta. Okay, so let me just write it uh, here for the, So we get this divided by this. It's just let's cut in this way. Exponential delta one plus delta del one plus delta mu. Okay. Uh let's see why this is true. Um, oh, 
So in order to do this, we need to pick uh, s is log one plus delta. Okay. So if you take s to be long of one plus delta, then the exponential s will be one plus delta. Okay. So the denominator denominator become one plus delta, one plus delta, and the numerator become uh delta delta. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the finally there's a theorem that uh I think the I leave as exercise. Uh, hopefully it's not difficult. Okay, so this theorem tell you that log of one plus x is greater or equal to x divided by one plus x divided by two. Okay, if you notice, then uh, this guy is bounded by exponential of minus delta square two plus delta mu. Okay. The reason is that if you have this inequality, then if you take long of it, you, you will get mu delta, right? Minus one plus delta log one plus delta. And you can uh use this to replace to re replace these parts, then you get this guy and you do some computation, then you can prove this. Okay. Oh, so this guy is uh this is the commonly used one that uh, we prove the upper bound. And the lower bound, we do the same thing. Okay, we do the same thing. So the for lower bound, let me just write it. So for lower bound, okay, so we uh, we just pick s equals to uh one minus delta mu. No, oh, sorry, we just pick s equals to log one minus delta. Okay, and we we do the same computation, and they use uh log one minus delta greater equals to minus delta plus delta square divided by two. Okay, you use this and the, the same techniques and uh, you can prove the results. Okay, so uh, this channel bounds is a powerful tool as in the computer science and probability theory and uh, hopefully this simplest uh, one will like. I think also this one, this one is so commonly used. Uh, yeah, I recently re 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 uh, read some paper that uh, I think this is this is the one which which I need to use. Okay, so see you guys next videos.